In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple Pong game using Logic Bricks in the Blender game engine. Change the layout to Game Logic. Change the render to Blender game. Change the view to the front view. Press S to scale, 2 and Enter. Click the Object Properties button, set the X location to 14, and set the X scale to 0.2. Drag to close the Properties panel, add a Keyboard Sensor and a Motion Actuator. Click on Key and press the Up arrow. Set the Z location to 0.1. You can enter a larger value if you want the bat to move more quickly. Connect those up. Click the white triangles to close up the logic bricks. Add another keyboard sensor and another motion actuator. Click on key and press the down arrow and set the Z location to minus 0.1 and connect those up. Name the bat bat B, the other bat will be bat A. Click the material button and scroll down and in the physics panel set the elasticity to 1. I am dragging with the middle mouse button to scroll the button bar. Click the physics button, scroll down and tick collision bounds and we want the bounds to be box. To duplicate the bat, hold down the shift key, press D and enter. Click the object properties button, rename the duplicate bat A and set its X location to be minus 14. For this bat, I'm going to use the Z key for down and the A key for up. To make a back wall, duplicate the bat, hold down shift, press D and enter. Rename the duplicate back wall A and set its X location to 15. Set its Y scale to 4 and set its Z scale to 10. Delete the logic bricks, add a collision sensor and a message actuator and when the ball collides with the back wall we want player B to score. Connect those up. Duplicate the back wall, hold down shift, press D and enter. Change the X location of the duplicate to plus 15 and set the message to score A. To make a roof, I'm going to duplicate the back wall, hold down shift, press D and enter. Rename roof. Change the Y rotation to 90. Change the X location to 0 and the Z location to 10. And set the Z scale to 15. Delete the logic bricks. Duplicate, Shift, D and Enter. Call the duplicate floor and change the Z location to minus 10. To make a side wall, select the back wall, duplicate, shift D and enter, press R to rotate, Z 90 and enter. I'm going to call the new wall far wall and set its X location to 0 its Y location to 2, its Y scale 
to 16 and its Z scale to 11. I have made the side wall slightly bigger than the other walls. I want the side walls to be see-through when developing the game and invisible when playing the game. To make them see-through, scroll down to the display panel and set the maximum draw type to wire. To make them invisible when playing the game, click the physics button and click the invisible button. Duplicate the side wall, hold down shift, press D and enter. Name the duplicate near wall. And set its Y location to minus two. And I notice one of the back walls I haven't named. Name it back wall B. And I also forgot to delete the logic bricks on the side walls. Add an empty object to the scene. I'm going to use the empty object to store properties of the game. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Add a game property. This game property, I'm going to store the score for player A. Make it of type integer and click the display debug information button. Add another property for the score of player B. Score B. Make that integer. And click the display debug information. And in the game menu, tick show debug properties. Drag to close the properties panel. Add a message sensor and a property actuator. When the message score A is received we want to add 1 to the property score A. Add another message sensor and another property actuator. When the message score B is received, we want to add one to the property score B and connect those up. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the empty out of the way. Add Mesh UV Sphere, press S to scale 0.5 and enter, click the Material button, click the Browse Material button and choose the material, click the Physics button, change the Physics type to Rigid Body, scroll down and set all the damping values to 0, scroll down and set the Collision Bounds to sphere. Add a keyboard sensor and a motion actuator. When I press the letter S to start the game I want to give the sphere an initial velocity of 40 and connect those up. Click the world properties button, scroll down and set gravity to 0. With the cursor in the 3D view window, press P to play the game engine and S to start the game. And we get a playable version of Pong. But the ball does slow down and it gets stuck bouncing up and down. The bouncing up and down problem can be fixed by setting the friction for the material to zero. And you can also set a maximum and minimum velocity for the sphere. There are many ways to tweak the game, many of which require programming code. I will develop the game in future tutorials. 
I'm going to end the tutorial there. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.